Hi friends, Prepared Suburbanite uh, back with you. Thanks for being here. Uh, and to uh, all you folks that uh, stayed up last night and watched the debate, it was one of the most painful things I think I've ever lived through. But uh, have you uh, actually seen any good debates recently? Um, I just want to share a few thoughts um, about what I saw and what I think the future is going to hold going into this election season, and it ain't good. So like I said, the uh, um, painful experience of watching the uh, the debate last night and um, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that certainly Joe Biden lost the debate. But I'm not convinced that Donald Trump won. Uh, he may have scored more points if you were keeping score uh, than Joe Biden did. And if that makes him a winner in your mind, then okay. But here's where I think it's uh, going to get really sticky this summer. There is a lot of uh, um, hue and cry right now to get uh, Biden to step down um, and just walk away from uh, the presidency. And that leads us to God knows what's going to happen. Now, we've got from now until the Democrat convention and um, somewhere in there it's very possible that Joe's going to say, I, or he gets convinced to say, um, I, can't, I can't run for a second term, and releases his delegates to the, um, to the convention to do uh, whatever they're going to do. And it doesn't really look like they've got much of a plan. I've heard all kinds of conjecture. Uh, from Michelle or Michael Obama to uh, Hillary Clinton to Gavin Newsom. Uh, there's even some talk about uh, the governor in Pennsylvania, Shapiro. There's talk about the governor in Michigan, um, Gretchen Whitmer. And there could be other folks in the uh, uh, background that would be uh, willing to step up and get involved. Kamala Harris, um, I, I don't think Joe's going to step down from the presidency. He's just not going to run a second term. So he'll remain president uh, right through to the uh, inauguration day. And uh, then they'll pack up their stuff and move back to Delaware and see you later and the new president then would uh, take over the White House and uh, right now it does look like Donald Trump has got the momentum and uh, the sound bites and the snapshots to uh, really pull this thing off but what's going to happen if they are able to convince Joe Biden to step down from his second term well You've got a potential, I guess, for Kamala Harris, and you've got uh, the folks that I just mentioned out there that are going to be um, potential candidates. And keep this in mind, and uh, I'll give uh, Pinball the, the credit for this one. Keep this in mind that whoever they pick in the convention is not going to be voted on by the people in the uh, Democrat Party. It's all going to be done politically, behind the scenes, uh, smoke-filled back rooms, all that kind of stuff. So I think that uh, um, while Trump may have technically won the debate, the chances that the entire election cycle is going to look entirely different than it is right now um, in a day or two, in a week or two, in a few weeks or so, um, he's going to be fading, fighting another uphill battle, Trump is, to 
square his uh, lead over whoever the Democrats pick to be their party. Um, I, I gotta, I gotta think that um, they may do something we don't expect. Uh, it could very well be Hillary. Could very well be uh, uh, Michelle Obama. Michael Obama <laughs> could very well be um, the Shapiro guy from Pennsylvania or Whitmer from um, Michigan. Um, there's just, uh, they've got so many different options available to them once they can convince Joe to pull his name from the convention and release his delegates. Um, there's a lot of talk going on right now that uh, they're really going to try to pressure him. Are they going to invoke the 25th Amendment and uh, have um, Kamala Harris call the cabinet together and say that he's incapable of uh, completing his uh, duties and responsibilities as President of the United States and then have her step in as the president? I don't think that's going to happen. It's a possibility, though, and it's something that we need to consider. But the other real possibility is that um, we're going to have a Democrat convention that's going to pick the next presidential candidate and the vice presidential candidate, and that's who Trump is going to have to do battle with during this election cycle. Depending on how they position it, it could be a tough road to hoe. I think that Trump's got the major support of the uh, country itself. He's got the right attitude. He's got the right political savvy. Uh, he says the right stuff most of the time. <laughs> Not every time, but most of the time. And he approaches the presidency as if it was a business. And uh, listening to the way he described certain decisions that he made during his presidency <clears throat> with the uh, Paris Climate Accord and things like that, he was looking at it like a businessman should. And um, I got to give him credit for that. I've always said that we really don't need more politicians. We need more savvy businessmen in p the political arena. Um, like to hear what your thoughts are after you've watched the debate. I've watched it twice now. Uh, I watched it live um, last evening, and then I hung around to uh, uh, see what the pundits were saying and all the talking heads. And I was uh, a little surprised at how quickly the Democrats did their spin and say, oh, this can't go on. We've got a call for him to step aside. Uh, and it was happening everywhere um, on the um, cable news media, on the uh, websites out there like Politico and things like that, uh, Huffington Post. Uh, it was pretty amazing uh, surfing around and looking at uh, what they were all saying, it, and they were echoing the same, the same point all the way around. So the word went out. And I don't know how long it's going to be before that action comes into play. But I'd really like to hear uh, your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what, you, what you're thinking about the next steps in this election process. <clears throat> like I said, I watched it last night, hung around for the uh, talking heads, and then I watched it again this morning uh, with Dan Bangino on uh, uh, Rumble so that I could get his uh, uh, perspective, and it was uh, pretty predictable. It was an enjoyable uh, way to re-watch that debate. So there's uh, what's going on. I'm a little concerned about the future of our country right now. I hope you are, and I hope that you get out your vote and your friends' votes and your family's votes on November 5th or before. So this is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you <clears throat> to be prepared always, and I'll see y'all on the next video.